machine comes from Germany. Yep. Um, this is a wet wheel, so you, you plug it into a hose, and the wet takes the heat off it and also acts as a lubricant. Uh-huh. Uh, which is really important because heat will kill a knife. And this side here, I've got different finishes. So you know the old strop that they use in the westerns, the leather belt? Yeah. This is felt. It, it recreates that. Uh, okay, and some old-fashioned barbers have... Yeah, that, they're actually really good. Yeah. But you can't buy them often. So I use this, which is a, a mixture of different... It's got like some rough stuff like this, but it's also got smooth on the inside. Yep. And that's what I'll, I'll put an edge on it again, and then we'll hone it, which is great. Uh, okay. We got so, Neil, how long have you been doing this? Well, uh, I've been a chef since I was oh, 19 years old. I've yep. always sharpened my own knives. Um, this machine I've owned for about five years now and love it. It's good. Cool. I can sharpen anything. You know, uh, invoice printers at the shops? Yeah. They have a little cutter in them and it's a guillotine. <laughs> yes. I sharpen them, samurai swords, hedge trimmers. People's secateurs that they cut their gardens. Oh, with. swords are actually legal. Yeah. Uh, under federal law, they're legal. Yeah. And federal law supersedes state law. Yep. But it makes I, a I bit of a noise. Yeah, I checked it out. It's okay. moment you can feel that it's, it's got an edge but it's rough yeah and I can you, see you that can see also it's got you know it's rough so that's why we'll put it across the steel and that will just smooth it off should I brought the Solinger in the broker I should have brought that as well yeah, oh, just look, to, anytime, to, to, anytime we can sharpen anything no I'm just saying so yeah. you're not you, you're not gonna use this wet one at the no, moment no. if I use the wet one I'll bring the bench near the sink and connect it to the hose. Oh, okay. Um, and that way we um, I can have continuous oh, so fresh water. water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Originally, it has a container and a pump, mm. and it exits the water just straight underneath. Yep. And it, it rotates the water. And I found, you know, if if you're not clever at cleaning a machine, you get rust particles everywhere. Yeah. And plus, you're rotating dirty water, so. I use a, you know, straight on to a, a tap connection and just exit the water away. Okay. That, that to me is the best. It's good. But I forgot. Um, you can feel how rough you can go. Um, that's P80 grit, which is. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is, that is that quite is. rough. So, but I would never use that on a small knife because it would make the knife disappear. Yep. But I'd use it on a big knife that somebody's hacked and, and chipped it on a bone. You need to get the shape back into it before you do anything. But water is really important. Lubricant, you know, is really important too, like yep. grinding paste. And I talked before about, you know, ceramic, well, cubic zirconia, the diamond tip. Sure. This is ceramic, so it's very similar. And you can actually feel it's really rough stone. Um, that just it hacks things so if somebody said to me they had a lawnmower blade they needed sharpening i'd use this right um that one on there is an older one of this so you can see they do wear down in size and everything sure um and there's a, a piece i can join on here which you can do scissors yep yep and it's designed to get scissors on a certain angle but i prefer to do them by hand it's just too, you know, it, it really is, scissors are too small to, to, you know, fiddle with. So I do them with by hand. Yep. There's a flat side to scissors and there's a, a, a blade side and very much like a Japanese knife, which is like one sided. Okay. Like French knives, German knives are all like blades on both sides. Yes. Japanese one side. Okay. So it's, it's all pretty cool. That's the original felt one, like a barber's, you know, the old leather strap yep, that you yep. see in the Western. 
And this one is more for polishing metal than, than anything else. So is it made for felt? The real felt? So when you see the felt yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's felt. Like they, it's, what, so horse it's, hair or? Rabbit hair, I'd rabbit say. Rabbit hair? Yeah. Okay. And then you can come down size and, you know, and your grits, what are these ones? P120? Yeah. And that's a lot smoother. A hell of a lot smoother. Yeah. But because of its speed, you need water in it mm -hmm. to cool everything. Because generally knives are tempered. Um, yep. They're heated and then cooled rapidly. Oh, um, my brother used to make swords. Yes. Out of coil springs. Yep. So you'd recycle the coil springs. Yep. From trucks. Yep. And heat and hammer. Yep. Or, yep. He heat and hammer, and then he'd sh make them. So he wasn't folding. He was just fitting and shaping the metal and elongating. That's it. it. Yeah. 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 And that's. So tell me, Neil, just quickly, this looks uh, interesting. 1972 Honda XR250. It's a single. Yeah. It's a farm bike. Um, originally, probably top speed 120 kilometers per hour. This one, engine's been built by Honda in Japan in the gearbox. She'll do about 185 k's. Okay. And it's, well, 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 we'll have to come back to that and yeah. do, do another one sometime. There's an interesting cat. We'll come back to that someday. So what are you doing now? I'm basically taking the, any ridges out of the metal right. that we had put on there from downstairs. So that, that's a stone, yeah? Yep, this is a stone. You've got a, a coarse side and a rough side. And you can see they wear down pretty quickly. Sure. Um, and now I'm just going to put it over the, the steel just to give it a... And you can hear it. Yeah. And as I go, I'm getting more of an angle on it. I'll come back the other way. So basically, this is really it's a cottage industry that you've got going. Yeah, it's just a cash cash industry. Yeah, but cottage industry, I mean. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just for, you know. So, so you, you can only pay cash. You don't take credit cards. Uh, Why no. don't you get a credit card machine? Don't want the tax department to find out anything. <laughs> Stainless steel, which this blade is made of, it's probably one of the hardest to sharpen. It really is like. Well, it is stainless steel. It, it yeah. says Pacific stainless on it somewhere. Sharp enough. I'm going to take it back down. And get oh it. man, sharp! Uh, sharp. It needs to be sharp because it's smooth, but it's not. Downstairs, it was sharper. So ah. here you can see this. Yep. You, you. That's I cut my thumb with that. Oh, okay, so, but you ran it that way. Uh, no. When I, I think I was cutting some kind some, of gourd. Yep. Right, and maybe as I was. Slice, well, it's left hand, but anyway, as I was slicing, I went like this, and, and my thumb was in the way. So, but yeah, I think it was sharp. Probably not as sharp as you'd like it to be, but. I'm listening to it, and it's not. There's different noise on both sides. And what, should they both be the same time? No, it's starting to get there.
Only with knives you get to a point and then they go backwards, they go blunt again. And sometimes you just put them down, walk away, come back and think about what you're doing. The longer the knife, the more important it is to have a sheath for your fingers. Yep. Because you will, you will come down, it will come off, and it will cut through the tops of your fingers. Oh, I'm sure. I've cut myself plenty of times. Uh, uh, look, I mean, it's part of having a knife. Well, yeah. see, see this finger here. Yeah. I mean, okay, it's cut now, but in the army, I think I chopped it down here like this. Um, this was, I was probably about eighteen. Yes. Nineteen. And, um, you know, I hadn't been in the army that long. And they sent me to a hospital. But... No ligament, just a... No, no, just, just, just like the flesh was hanging off. But the squaddies that were taking me in the Land Rover, they decided to stop at a pub and asked away. And they came out after closing time. This... So, so they said, look, we're a bit drunk. You can see the scar across here? Yep. It, it was uh, this knife here. This knife is my oldest knife. I've had this for a long, long time, since I was 18. And I was cutting pumpkin. And it's not a flat surface. No, I know. And the pumpkin shot. And my major cut was here. I went through the bone. There's a metal rod. Ligaments. They cut here and rejoined the ligaments. This one was just across the top and this one was a nick, but it was severely... Um, so I'm pretty lucky that they, they did the right job and put it all back on. Mm -mm. But it was two-thirds of the way through. Um, it's when I had my um, delicatessen, my catering business. Yep. Very annoying because it was close of business and a lady came in, a customer, can you peel my pumpkin for me? It wasn't even my food. And then you went to you went to the hospital the other evening. I drove myself, and lucky for me, I went to not a hospital. I went to a private one, and there was a gentleman just hopping into his Porsche in the car park, and he saw the towels and the dripping blood, and he said, "I guess I'm not going home." And he was a plastic surgeon. Oh, good. So he 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 did a fantastic job. Sounding even now, which is good. It's almost there. I wish I was ambidextrous. If I could do this in both hands. I'll teach you how to get ambidextrous. So much busy. I'll teach you how to become ambidextrous. Yeah, it's, I can do most things with both hands, but cutting a knife this way, I'll cut my knife. Uh, I, can, I can cut with left and right. Yeah. I mean, I consider myself ambidextrous. Not in everything, but most things. So, actually, I think I'm predominantly left handed, but. I was forced to use your right hand. Yeah. As that was quite common years and years ago. Yeah, of course. When kids would get a knife and fork or something and they would. Well, I still eat with a fork. My fork is always in my right hand, but yep. um, writing. You know? I'm, I'm going to give that one more okay. on the machine just to 